Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset a laptop. In one of the previous videos, we showed you how to reset an Android device to make it operable again. You will find the link in the description. In the same manner, you can bring a Windows laptop back to life. However, the laptop's hard disk should have a special recovery partition created by the manufacturer. Here we go! Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Restoring a laptop to factory settings is a completely automatic reinstallation of Windows with all applications and drivers that have been pre-installed by the manufacturer. When the resetting process is over, you will have the laptop in the same condition it had when you bought it. When resetting, Windows is restored from a backup, which is kept in a special hidden recovery partition. You can see it when you enter the Disk Management menu. It's usually called Recovery Partition and takes up from 5 to 20 GB of space. However, the size can be very different depending on the side of the pre-installed apps and the system. Without this partition, you can't factory reset a laptop. Though, this partition can be absent as a result of accidentally deleting it during manual reinstallation of Windows or if you bought a laptop without a pre-installed operating system. Please note, when the operating system is reset, all data from disk C will be erased. The sequence of actions when factory resetting a laptop may differ depending on the manufacturer. However, the differences are slight, while the algorithm of actions is similar. The first step is to get into the laptop's recovery environment. How you do it depends on your laptop manufacturer. Let's have a look at the most popular ways. Some manufacturers have a special dedicated button for this purpose, like Lenovo's Novo button or Sony's Assist button. This button may be placed above the main keys of the device or even on the side of or back panel. You can use it both when the operating system is running or when the computer is off. It starts a menu where you should select the necessary action. Usually it's System Recover or Recover your system. Yet, most laptops can take you to the recovery environment when you restart the computer and keep on clicking or holding down one of the functional keys before the system starts booting. This functional key can be F9 for Asus, Alt plus F10 for Acer, for HP Pavilion. Escape button when starting the laptop, then go to the Start menu and press F11. Samsung F4, Toshiba F8, in latest models it's 0 or sometimes FM plus 0, Dell F8, Fujitsu Siemens F8, LG F11, Lenovo F11 if there is no dedicated button, Sony if there is no assist button, just press F10. As a result, Recovery Environment, Windows Boot Manager or Advanced Boot Options will start. I'll show further steps with the, lap uh, the, with the Dell laptop I'm using. But as I said before, the algorithm for, of actions for laptops by other manufacturers will be similar. In the menu that appears, choose Repair your computer, Recovery Center or System Recovery. The computer will load the files required for recovery. After that, select the language and user account. You will see the System Recovery Options window. Usually, the last line in this window is the manufacturer's backup and restore firmware. For example, in my Dell device it's Dell Backup and Recovery. But other manufacturers may have other names. For example, Toshiba HDD Recovery, Sony Via Recovery Center, HP Recovery Manager, Acer Recovery Management, Samsung Recovery Solution, Lenovo One Key Recovery, and so on. However, sometimes when you press the necessary button, the laptop may start loading the recovery utility at once, 
so it skips the Windows Recover environment. Most often it happens when the laptop has a special recovery key like Assist or Nova button. If your laptop can boot Windows, then you can start any of these recovery utilities from the running operating system. If Windows can't boot, or the laptop's native recovery utility doesn't work for some reason, then you can reset the device from the recovery environment only. In my case, I select Dell Backup and Recovery. The interface of the utility for factory resetting the laptop is loading. I select Advanced Options, Factory Refresh, Only Restores the System Partition, Next. After that, don't touch anything. The recovery process is completely automatic and doesn't require any user actions. The computer will restart several times during the recovery process. The recovery is complete restart. After the restart, the laptop will boot in its factory condition, that is, the way it was when you bought it. All programs pre-installed by the manufacturer will be restored. As you can see, it's very easy. In details, the process of factory resetting a laptop may differ in Windows 7 or 10. On the whole, such things don't matter much. The point is to have a recovery partition on the hard disk and make sure that files of this backup copy are not damaged. Otherwise, bringing Windows back to life will require at least having an installation disk with the operating system. There is a special video about installing Windows from a USB drive or DVD. Find the link in the description. In one of the next videos, I'll show you how to create a recovery partition to factory reset your system and how to use it for system recovery. Make sure you don't miss it. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.